The X-Carve Pro can cut through lots of different materials, but it's always important to use the right bit for the job. Here's a quick overview of the types of things that you can do and the bits that are the best fit to do it. First up, we have the two flute down and up cut bit. These are great for clearing out pockets in material or for cutting out parts. You'll use a down cut bit if you want a cleaner cut on the top, and you'll use an up cut bit if you want a cleaner surface on the bottom. Now if you combine a down and up cut bit, you will get a compression bit that will give you a clean surface on both the top and the bottom of your material. This makes it our go-to bit anytime you want to cut out parts from plywood where you need a clean surface on both the top and the bottom. V-bits are great for highly detailed work. These bits are shaped like a V and come to a fine point at the edge. Lots of times these will be used as the final detailed pass in your project. V-bits will give you a sloped wall to your cut, which work really well for letters. Normally you'll find them in both 60 and 90 degree versions. And for materials, up and down cut bits, compression bits, and V-bits all work through a wide range of materials. The most common are plywood, hardwoods, MDF, plastics, and foam. Now for 3D carving projects, ball nose bits are gonna be used for your final detailed pass. And just like the other bits we've talked about, these can be used through a wide range of materials. And speaking of materials, our final is soft metals. You can also use a wide variety of bits for pocket clearing, fine details, rounded edges, but you'll need to get bits that are specifically designed to work with metal so they work at the correct speeds and chip loads to give you the cleanest possible cutting. 